The Economy Quilt Block is a nice traditional quilt block that can be used to feature special fabric or other embellishments. Today, I'm going to show you how to make it. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pajagi, and embroidery. The economy quilt block is sometimes called a square in a square because it looks like three rotated squares. And the center square in this block is a really nice way to showcase a feature fabric with a fun or seasonal pattern. Um, it's great for fussy cutting pieces or you could use this to showcase embroidery or applique or some other kind of embellishment. So there are a few different ways that you can make this block, but today I'm gonna to share one easy way. And I'm gonna be making a 12 inch finished block. So to make this block, you're gonna need a six and a half inch square for the center square, and then a seven and a half inch square, and that is for the middle row of triangles, and then two seven inch squares that are gonna be the outer uh, row of triangles. So the six and a half inch square in the middle of this one, you're just gonna leave that, you're not gonna cut that, but then the seven and a half inch square for the next row, you're gonna cut that twice on the diagonal into quarter square triangles. And then the seven inch squares that are for the outside triangles, those you're gonna cut them both on the diagonal from corner to corner. So you're gonna end up with four of these half square triangles. So I don't usually use pins when I'm piecing blocks, but for piecing this block, this is a situation where you probably will want to use pins because you wanna get everything lined up properly. So we're gonna begin by joining these quarter square triangles around the edge of this square. And to do that, we're gonna join the opposite ones first, and we have to line up the center points. So if you fold this in half, the center square, and then just crease that with your finger then do the same thing with the triangle. And then these are the two points that we're gonna line up. So pin that together. And then you don't have to add the other pins, but I like to add the other pins just for extra security and then we'll go to the sewing machine and we will stitch this with a quarter inch seam allowance and then repeat that on the other side so you can go ahead and pin them both at the same time so I'm going to go ahead and stitch both of those sides so now that that's stitched, I'm gonna press both of these seams away from the center square. And I press this even if this is the dark fabric and this is the light fabric, I will press it that way. Um, so that will help everything line up. And then once it's pressed, I will repeat the same thing on the other sides. So find the center, um, line that up and pin it and then sew those seams. So now that this section is made, uh, be sure to press it really well. If you use starch, this is a good time to use starch. And now we're just gonna trim this piece. So to trim it, you'll need a ruler, and you'll need a ruler with a 45 degree angle line. That's very helpful. And most standard um, rulers do have that line. And so you're gonna line that line up with that one of your seams. And then you wanna have, check this point. So the edge of that square is at the quarter inch mark. So we're gonna be trimming the edge so that it is 
um, align properly with this line and that there is a quarter of an inch away from the point of that uh, square. And so we're going to trim that on all the sides. So we come to this one and then make sure there's a quarter of an inch there. And when you get to trimming your neck size, then you'll also be able to see this should be a right angle. So we're going to have a perfect square with the edges a quarter inch away from the points of that inside square. So now we have the center square. We are going to add the rest of our triangles around that. So we're going to do in the same way. We'll start with two at a time. Fold that to find the center. And this time we're going to line the center up with the point. And so this side, if you pin from that side, you can pin right in that point. And we can see that lines up with the center. And on this one, I like to stitch from this side because then when I'm stitching, I can just watch to make sure that my line of stitching goes right in that point. And that's going to make sure that all your, that's going to make sure that everything lines up properly. So I'll stitch those two edges with a quarter inch seam. So when you're pressing this seam, this seam is also going to be pressed away from the center square and just be really careful and gentle when pressing it because this edge has two bias edges. On these triangles, it's a bias edge and on this triangle, it's a bias edge. So it will be very easy to stretch that. So just press it with an up and down motion and be really careful not to stretch it. So then we're going to repeat the same thing with these corners, fold, find the center, line it up with there, and then stitch. So here's the finished piece once those last triangles have been added. Now just double check the size, trim it down so that it's 12 and a half inches square, leaving a quarter inch past the edge of those squares, and then it will be the perfect size to use in your quilt. For more quilt block tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check my website, ebitastudio.com.